Hey everyone, so I kind of wanted to do a little life update video for you guys today. As you read in the title, I was diagnosed with celiac disease. Um, this is actually new. I was just diagnosed um, about two weeks ago, I think now. Um, I don't know if any of y'all noticed at all, but um, I didn't post very often in the month of October because I was going through all my testing for it. Um, I went in at the beginning of October to see my doctor because um, I was feeling very tired um, and there was no reason for me to be as tired as I was. I, was, I wasn't even feeling tired, I was feeling exhausted. <laughs> I would go to bed, sleep, you know, 10, 11 hours at night and wake up as if I never went to sleep. Um, I take three hour naps. I mean, it was crazy and I it's just like I could never catch up on my sleep I was just exhausted. I could like I could go to sleep anywhere and um, So I decided to go ahead and, and go and see my doctor um, Just a little background. I do have an autoimmune disease called ulcerative colitis And so I thought that maybe it was acting up or my medication for it was you know messing me up or something so I went in to see um, my doctor to ask her about it and she said that it wasn't the medicine and it wasn't that that's not something that's not a symptom of that I guess and so she decided that she wanted to test me for a bunch of other stuff but one of them being celiac disease because celiac Crohn's and colitis kind of all go together and um, so she did the blood test in about took forever to get those results back. Um, it took probably at least two, maybe almost three weeks to hear back from them and um, it turned out that my celiac test came back positive and this is the blood work. And um, so she immediately had me um, schedule an endoscopy, which means they put you to sleep and they go in through your mouth, down through your stomach and your small intestine and take biopsies and look for damage. And so, I had that done and then about a week later she called and confirmed that I had celiac disease. Um, it wasn't really bad because I don't really like gluten <laughs> or gluten items like bread and donuts and rolls and cereal, all that stuff that is just jam packed with gluten. I don't really eat. I know that's really weird and a lot of people think that is just the strangest thing they've ever heard in their life. but. Um, so I didn't have a lot of damage and she said, which is very fortunate for me. Um, but I do have to go completely gluten free. I can't have a cheat day. I can't do anything. I can absolutely have no more gluten for the rest of my life because it actually damages my small intestine and can eventually lead to cancer. And a lot of people ask like, what's the difference between celiac disease and a gluten intolerance? Because there is a difference. They're not the same thing. A gluten intolerance is more, you, you can't tolerate it. So when you eat it, it doesn't make you feel good and your stomach may hurt or whatever, but it doesn't actually harm your body. Where celiacs, if you eat gluten, it doesn't make you feel good and it harms your body. It actually hurts your small intestine. Um, and the damage is re reversible by not eating gluten. That's why you have to maintain a super strict gluten-free diet. And so, um, that's why I didn't post much because I was super duper stressed out with all of that. Um, it's a complete life change for me and I'm still <laughs> working through it. I've been completely gluten free for at least three weeks now. It's not been the easiest thing in the world and I didn't know I don't even eat that much gluten. Um, my, my most troublesome part <laughs> is eating out. It's just like the inconvenience of not being able to eat what I want and having to question every single ingredient on anything that I eat. And that is just really frustrating and it's annoying. And I just don't like being that customer that's like, I can't have this and this and this. Can you ask your chef this? And you know, like it's it's just being annoying, <laughs> really. And um, like when we have Bible study on Wednesday nights, you know, we do a potluck and everyone brings food and then I have to go through and ask every single person, well, what brand of this did you put in it? What else did you put in it? And have to sit there on my phone and Google whether that has gluten in it or not and whether I can eat it. And most things have gluten in them. I 
most of, I've never did any research on gluten until I found out about celiac and it is amazing how much foods or how many foods has gluten in it. It's insane. And this is like so hard. It is really hard to do. I've been fine at home because I can cook for myself and I never eat much gluten anyways, but it's going out to eat and going to friends' houses that is just making it really, really difficult for me. And now we have Thanksgiving coming up and luckily my mom's a nurse so she knows a lot about this and um, they're pretty positive that my dad has celiac disease also because it's extremely hereditary. So I got it from someone and it's most likely my dad. But um, so she's been starting to transition them to gluten free also. So she's, she's gonna be changing some items that we have for Thanksgiving so that I can eat them. I luckily can have like mashed potatoes, which is really all I eat anyways. I'm not a big Thanksgiving food person. I'm a very picky eater in case y'all didn't know that. Um, and then my mother-in-law is also making changes to some of their menu um, so that I can have something to eat on Thanksgiving day. But it's just inconvenience and it's just really annoying basically having this. But I'm not trying, I'm not filming this to have a pity party. Basically I'm filming this because I have 2,300 subscribers. One of you has to have celiac disease, a gluten intolerance, or know someone that does. And I would just love to hear your story. Maybe you can give me some tips and tricks of things to eat or what I can order at Mexican food restaurants and um, just kind of chit chat with you a little bit because I am just lost. There's so much information on the internet and I don't know what's true, what's not true. And it's just all over the place. So basically I'm coming to you for help. Um, and just let me know of some great recipes you may know. Uh, different things to try because we're already getting burnt out on the things that we are eating. Um, but anyways, yes, leave some comments below um, with any help that you may have or websites I can go to or anything like that. And I will be continuing my holiday series on Saturday. I'll be talking about how to save on Christmas decor. And um, so keep your eyes open for that. And I'll talk to you all later. Bye.